We'll guide you through how to share games on Steam. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video, and let's get into this. Firstly, we're going to start the guide on the borrower's computer. So what you need to do is on their computer, open up Steam, and then in, go and click on Steam in the top right, and go and tap on settings. On the left, go down to security, and make sure Steam Guard is enabled. As you can see, this already is enabled, which is good. Then what you need to do is log out of the borrower's account. So I'll press sign out of account like this. Now you need to log into the Steam account of which the games are being borrowed from. So let me sign in now. Go to the top left, press on Steam and go into settings again and go into security. And once again, make sure Steam Guard is enabled. Then we can stay in settings, but head over to the left and click on family. And we need to go and click on authorized library sharing on this device, just like this. It's going to go and take a moment to load and then you can choose the accounts you go and enable family sharing with. In this case, I want to do it with this account here called Tucker, just like so. Then go up to family sharing and click on manage and we'll be taken to this page here. Make sure the device is authorized. Mine is. I can now sign out of this account back into the borrower account and you can go to library just like this. And as you can see, I've now gone and got games from the other accounts library. For example, here we've got Goat Simulator and below the install button, it then says from the library of this account here, which is the account who owns it. You could then click install like this and you can choose where it's gonna be installed and the download will then go and start. The main thing to know about family sharing is that with your game library, it can be up to 10 devices at a given time with up to five accounts and you can only and only one person can play the game at one time. So, and only one person can play the game at the one time. So you won't be able to play together unless you go and buy licenses on each account for the game. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.